G'day guys, Magnolia Root Productions here. Alright, today we're going to be building a box car. This one is one that I picked up off eBay for a couple dollars. Probably like eight or nine. Anyway, um, as you can see it's bright orange. It's about as orange as the, uh, about as orange as this paint right here. Let's see. Anyway, that's not how it really looks. Um, it looks more, the real the real one that I took pictures of, looks more like this kind of brown, more like this rusty colour. And it actually looks closer in colour to this box car that I did. I weathered this one the other day, and I think it turned out okay. But anyway, that's the kind of colour we're going to get for this one. I will post some pictures to my Facebook page and to my uh, YouTube channel, hopefully, in a separate video of the actual paint colour of the real one but anyway as you can see it's bright orange and it's not it's not very realistic so we're going to change that today so the first thing that we're going to be using we're going to be using like the rusty primer this is going to be our base rust coat for any large expensive area we're going to have our washes and our rust stains we're going to use isopropyl alcohol mixed with the acrylic paints that I've got right here. Those are going to be some darker washes that we're going to make. And then we've got rusty enamel and then uh, aluminium. So basically with all these colors what we're going to do is we're going to weather this car until it is rusty and dirty. Now on the real one the lettering you can read still very clearly the port lettering and all the little words on the side of the car you can still see all those very clearly on the prototype. So unfortunately, I can't just do what I did with this one and overspray and then rust until you can't until you can barely read what's on the side. Unfortunately, that's not the case. The words on the real one are still very much legible. So unfortunately, I can't do just an overspray of this and call it done. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to mask the car up with masking tape so that the roof can be sprayed this is because the roof is way too shiny and I'm trying to do something along the lines of this one kind of like a rusty roof but we're going to do it a little bit different this one I think I left a little bit too much silver on it so I don't really care for that so we're going to do this one a bit different and do a solid rust base first so we're going to use masking tape and we're going to mask it off and then we're going to paint it I don't have any smaller masking tape, so packing tape's all I'm going to use. Um, and uh, I decided I wasn't going to use the testers, whatever brand this is. I reckon it's testers. Yes, it is. Um, I'm not going to use that rust color for the entire roof of the car because that's a lot of roof. That's a lot of roof to cover. And anyone else who has bought and used these little jars of paint they're like a fourth of an ounce and anybody else who uh, buys them I'm sure they know the same thing that I know which is they are expensive this little jar costs like basically two dollars so that's um that's a lot of money for basically not even an ounce of paint so I'm going to instead of wasting my money on an entire jar for basically this whole roof I'm going to mask the car and use this cheap rusty spray paint and then the rusty spray paint will be our base coat for all the subsequent weathering. This is probably going to be a multi-part video so unfortunately um, I'm not going to cover everything in this first video. This first video is probably going to be um, this first video is probably going to cover just like the masking, getting the reef started and doing like the roof and maybe the sides and the next few videos will probably be um doing like the trucks and the couplers and all that good stuff um i did buy some sergeant engineering couplers for this car it came with it came with these guys it came with these little things i don't like them i think they're crappy um all the other freight cars that i have they have um they have decent couplers. I think they're like McHenry's or something. 
they're they're okay. They're all the stuff that uh comes on all the new uh Athen and whatnot. But um they're okay. They're just that they're they break too easy. The spring on them breaks and then the coupler doesn't work as well. So we're gonna buy these um sergeants. They come with six in a pack and maybe um we'll see how those work. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and mask this car first and then I will pause the video and get back to you when it is masked. Alright guys, so as you can see, all I did was take some masking tape, or packing tape, whatever you call it, and I masked the sides of the car and the ends of the car. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to keep the sides safe from when I spray the rusty colour over the roof of the car. It's going to keep it from bleeding down the sides of the car and making the paint uh, run down the sides and make a big old mess and all that. So I'm going to pause the video real quick again, and I'm going to go outside and paint this and then I'm going to come back inside and we'll get started from there. Now, it is a bit chilly out today, so I'm not sure how this is going to cover. Um, however, I'm going to be dusting it on the roof. It's not going to be a thick coat. It's going to be more like a dusting, so there's tooth on the roof so that our, our next weathering will work. We're also going to use, um, we're also going to use a little bit of powder. So we're going to be using these Tamiya powders, so we're going to use those as well. I'm going to pause this video real quick and I'll be back. Alright guys, we're back. As you can see, the paint's still a little bit wet so I'm not going to touch it. But as you can see, it took that shine right off. The light that you see reflecting off of it is not the silver, it's just light reflecting off of the paint. But as you can see, there's a little bit of silver still available and that's okay. We didn't want an entire complete coverage. Right here in the prototype, it did rust a little bit heavier, so I did add a little bit heavier paint. But for now, that's all we're going to do um, in terms of the actual paint paint itself. Um, everything else is mostly going to be rust color powders and rust color um, washes and darker, grimy washes. We're not going to so much use paint as we are washes. Washes are thinner and they allow all the lettering to still be legible. Whereas with paint, you have to deal with paint covering up certain parts of words and then it not being visible. So the goal that we're going after is a striped, grit, grimy, rusty rail car, but all the words are still legible on the side. So that's what we're going to shoot for. This is pretty much all I'm going to be able to accomplish on the car for at least the next couple hours as this paint completely dries before we can move on. So in the meantime, I reckon I might do go ahead and do the same thing with the trucks and the wheels, and which is going to be basically just colouring them the rusty colour. And I will post another update video when I get to working on the sides of the rail car. So I will post a video for you guys then. Cheers.